Iga Swiatek versus Chen Wen Zhang is the first semi-final for the Olympics for 2024. And both players have had different roads to get to this stage. Zhang entered the tournament as the number six seed and would take on Irani in the first round. But this was no problem getting through in straights. Six love, six love. In the second round, she take on Rus. And again, no problems getting through in straights. Six, two, six, four. In the third round, she take on Navarro, the number 11 seed. And this was a battle. After saving match points in the second set, she'd eventually win in three, six, seven, seven, six, six, one. In the quarterfinal, she take on Angie Kerber, who'd been playing her last tournament in her career. And again, this was a battle. Battle. After dropping the first set, she'd fight back to win 6 7 6 4 7 6 to advance to the semi finals. Shviontek entered the tournament as the number one seed and would take on Bagu in the first round. And after a close second set, would get through in straights 6 2 7 5. In the second round, she'd take on Parry, which is no problem getting through in straights 6 1 6 1. In the third round, she'd take on Wong, and after an awkward second set, would get through in straights 6 3 6 4. In the quarterfinals, she'd take on the number eight seed Collins, who she'd had trouble with in the past, including an epic in Australia at the start of the year. And after splitting the first two sets, Collins would get in. Injured in the third, eventually retiring. 6 1 2 6 4 1 retirement, giving Shriontek a win to the semi finals. These two have played six times before, with Shriontek leading 6 0 in that head to head. However, when they did play on clay at Roland Garros the first time they met, it was a three setter, Shriontek getting the win in the end. But Zhang has been able to take sets off Shriontek in some of the matches they have played. So this could be really interesting, especially the way that Zhang has been playing in the last couple of matches. If Zhang's going to win this one, she needs to serve well and hope that the forehand is working. She really needs to bully Shriontek. We saw that with Collins, able to do that. In the second set of that match, she needs to take some of that and use it herself against Fiontek because Fiontek on this court is almost unbeatable. If Fiontek's going to win this one, she needs to get off to a good start like she did against Collins, but she needs to maintain that. Collins did take that second set away from her, and it looked like the momentum going into the third was for Collins. So she needs to avoid that against Zhang and maybe get off to a good start and maybe dent the confidence of Zhang a little bit by getting off to a good start. Really fun matchup. Interesting matchup. Zhang loves playing for her country. We saw that last year a bunch of times. And of course, Fiontek trying to win this gold medal. I have to go with Fiontek in this one in three sets. I reckon she gets this one as well. Makes it at the gold medal match, which is what she's destined to do at this venue. And I think that head-to-head -head is just too one-sided. But let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.